Hey, watch this. Watch this. Show him go down. Go down. Okay, Lamar. Follow me. I'm a follow you now. Please watch out for the people around. <laughs> Support. Is there, yeah, well, we, this is a perfect segue into this. Is there anybody that was close to you that didn't support you? What'd you say? Was there anybody close to you that didn't support you? Well, you know what? To keep it real, whoever's with me right now is the only people that did support me. So everybody that was with me that ain't with me now didn't support me. Right. Well, you, you did? know, yeah, I, I, I could dig that. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. What would you say is your biggest accomplishment? Oh, my biggest accomplishment? Yeah, so far. Oh, it's a couple things. I got a, a, a nonprofit right now called Sad, Sad Stop Abusing Drugs that keeps people off drugs. And I've helped like at least 100,000 people already, you know, so you can look that up, sad.com. You know, also, you know, being able to get this award and take my mama up on it and w take my mama actually to the award and put my, why they saw my name on the teleprompter and all that and get and, and, and actually give her award, you know what I'm saying? And know that I did it by myself and it has no extra people behind the situation, but for my own hard, hard struggle, you know, also create knockout being a co-creator of something that I seen blow completely up, even though I might not be financially you know, uh, getting what I, I, I feel my just do, but it's not about what I feel. It's about what the good Lord wants to bless me with. So, like I said, there's a lot of things that I, you know, wait, and, wait, and just being, I, I, be, talk about some of the shows that you've been on. Oh man, I've been on Boston public coach Carter family business for the love of Ray J. I made up danger smash the homies. That shit went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'll give it to my boy, even though they think young, uh, Tom green, did it but really i'm i'm i made it up because i'm the one that knew danger before she was even on the show because danger was over at my boy rio's studio before i even seen her at the set but anyways you know moesha i'm very happy about that i was in a movie with my boy from who got what's my boy michael who just got michael uh, k williams yeah michael i'm in a movie with him and I, and, and uh with him and sticky fingers and ray j it's called a day in a life and that was really good to me because I got a chance to really work with a brother that I really, you know, I liked his work, you know, and before he passed away, you know, and I got a song with Nate Dogg. That's my big accomplishment, too, because Nate Dogg is no longer here, as well as I wrote for Whitney Houston. I wrote the song, the only song that Ray J and Whitney Houston did together is called It'll Be OK. Uh, that's a big accomplishment as well. The song, uh, the joint that, uh, man, now I don't know if this is accomplishment, but it was an accomplishment before this man just went to jail for touching on all this craziness, the R. Kelly joint, because I got a song with Kells and, and Ray J. It, it used to be an accomplishment, but I don't know what the hell's going on with this man. <laughs> and then the joint that I got with Pharrell, shout out to Pharrell, because these niggas can't even get a song with the Neptunes because Chad ain't going in the studio with none of you niggas. <laughs> so, so that's a big accomplishment, you know what I mean? Just to be able to be a legend out here. I've done things with, I got a video right now, shout out to Bobby Brown, right now almost at a million views called uh, Water Park and Bobby's up in that joint. You know, that's a big accomplishment because when I first started off, I was wearing a Bobby Brown haircut as a kid and to be in 2021 with a video and Bobby co-signing in it makes me feel great because all the legends I deal with, I don't know none of these young cats really like that, but I came up with the legends like Quincy Jones can vouch for me. He knows Shorty Mac, you know, QD3, the people that actually was, you know, these are big accomplishments. And doing a song with DJ Clue, having my shit up on Hot 97, that was a big accomplishment right there. Going to New York, running it for a minute, doing, having a good time out there with DJ K Slay. That was a big accomplishment, man. Recording down there with Biggie recorded. That was a big accomplishment, man. 
So yeah, there's a lot of big accomplishments. Meeting you, Choke, having you put me on World Star, making me be one of the first people ever on there. That was a huge accomplishment. The good Lord has been so good to me. Still being able to talk to you like this is a huge accomplishment. Being in this gym ripped up, huge accomplishment, man. Being right. the only nigga with a goddamn robot in 2021. Still <laughs> at it. It's a huge accomplishment. <laughs> right. I What are your disappointments? My disappointments is that at the you know that I might have um you know I might have been too loyal to people that weren't loyal to me. But it's you got to live and learn. You know, I might have given away a lot of good ideas to people that really weren't, you know, looking out for my best benefit with me giving out and teaching and, and doing things. They might have took things that, you know, I, I, I might have showed people and they might have used it against me, you know, things like that. But that type of shit you live and learn. So it's not really too many, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you, you and I know I've been shot before. You know, I got shot up in a, in a whip before with somebody's security from somebody's security before. And I didn't even I didn't, I didn't even sue nobody. I would be I could have been out there. I could have been guapped up, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. But that's that's like I said, staying solid to situations that, you know, at, sometimes at the end might be might not be, you know, your your best benefit. You got to you got to know what's solid for you. You know what I'm saying? Just because the food is solid for someone else don't mean that it's good for you to eat on. Yeah, we know you took a bullet for only two, but relationships. What was your best personal relationship? You mean with a lady? Yeah. You ain't got to say her name. Oh, man. I, you know, Man, I had a few, man. I had a few, man. You know, a couple of girls from the TV shows, y'all know that they, they were good. They were, they were good relationships for me. I, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like Aaliyah, this girl named Aaliyah, I put her on. She was on uh, the show for the love of Ray. There was a girl named Morgan. She was a great girl. And I, and I give a shout out to these ladies because those were good girls. You know, during, the, during, during my time of growing up, I was, a, I, I, was, I was very, you know, what would I say? I just, just not having a father, I ain't gonna blame it on that. But growing up in the streets, you know, you, you tend to be really hard on the women and you don't really understand until you become a grown man how, you know, important to have a good woman on your I, I, I really more was the toxic person in my situations. Yeah. Shout out to Lee, I remember Lee. Yeah, you know, and, and most of my situations, I was exact, I was the toxic one. So, you know, I, right. I've grown up a lot, you know, from the ways that I used to be. <laughs> choke, no choke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke. Let's go. You already know. Make a love. Let's go. My aim was in life.